Hi everyone, my name is Addicts and welcome to or back to my channel and welcome to everybody's favourite series on my channel. It feels like I've literally only just done the Western Festival version of this but I guess Star City Bill wants to play with me like that and really challenge me. If you're new here and you don't know how this works, I have high scored for a while to save up all of these shillings and we're basically going to buy everything that we possibly can using them shillings. This feels so underwhelming this year because there's literally like nothing for this festival. This doesn't feel like a festival, it just feels like shops which I guess is great for this video but for like what you can actually do it's awful i would rather have some event than no event like this like it's so bad like i'd rather repeat the cloud kingdom than just have this we're gonna start with this set because this one's really really cute and we should probably start from the top but okay we're gonna start from the top <laughs> okay bridal i've also not cleared out my inventory which is a um, mistake this set's lovely and cheap. They've definitely put the price of the things down because this is something that we were saying in the Western Festival video too. I've still got all of my Western Festival stuff in my inventory. That's how like recent th this event was. Like I don't get why they've done it like this. The Western Festival did not feel like a summer event. Is that just me? I feel like that's not just me. <laughs> I've not really bought anything from any of the previous Rainbow Festival events. So we have quite a lot to get through here, which I mean, it's fine because this has been so close to the, obviously the other one. I might struggle for shillings. Okay, top. I do have a train with me coming out soon that was actually supposed to be out before this video, but I wanted these outfits. <laughs> it's... The beanie just looks like it shouldn't be with this outfit. Is that just me? I mean, we'll see when it, we put it on, but let's talk about how disappointing essentially this event is after I've reviewed this first set because that was really bad timing. <laughs> oh, mixed opinions about this one. Definitely. Oh wait, oh my God, the, the, bright, the chrome is actually shiny. That's cool. I mean, I think it's cute. Like, I love that they, there is a, like a chrome set, but if we if we just have a closer look here, I just don't think this set really complements each other in some aspects. Like, it feels a bit all over the place. I think dark purple is what's throwing me off. Maybe if they made this purple the same color as the top, I wouldn't mind, but the top as a standalone is absolutely adorable. Look at the little moon on it. So cute. It's a good start, I guess. Like, there's been worse, right? Okay, so next set, while I talk about how much I am not impressed with this event this year, I don't quite know why they removed the Cloud Kingdom. I understand that we've been doing the same thing for quite a lot of years now with the Cloud Kingdom, but at the same time, like, you couldn't have jazzed it up. Like, you've had a whole year. Considering this event is so close to the Western Festival, it's like... They've basically just tried to shove it out to get it out of the way this year. It would take you less effort to just put the Cloud Kingdom back in the exact same way that it was instead of... Oh, I don't have enough money. Instead of creating this new, like, more, like, full Pinter Beach, sorry. And then they had the audacity to just leave it at this. So, like, I originally thought, like, week one, I was like, okay, this is new. Maybe they're gonna bring something else with it. We then got these two new magical horses, and I am honestly part of the problem because I bought both of them. <laughs> that was it. That was, that was the update. The Cloud Kingdom thing felt fun. Fine, there's better events, but, like, it was something to do. It kept me logging on every day, and if you want to increase, increase, sorry, your playtime, why are you not, why not just, it, I don't know. Anyway, Let's have a look at this new this new set. I don't know why I said set like that. I love this. I like this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is not really my thing. Like I hate flat shoes. And I'm not usually one for like gold in my hi. For like gold in my tack. But I'm a fan. I do like it. It's super cute. I like it. Okay, let's leave it at that. I like it a lot more than this one. Okay, where was I up to? <laughs> Camp Western was also really disappointing. They've gave us nothing really this year. I mean, like the equestrian festival was fine. I trained a lot of horses that's about it the clothes were ugly there was nothing new on offer there was a lot of criticism that they should have utilized new features like the new show jumping race and they never um so that was kind of a a thing to rant about don't and then at the same time remember all the reshade thing was happening at the same time so then that was a bit of a shambles and then they released the western festival so much earlier than than usual it doesn't even feel like a summer festival it was just again another recycled event it was like mm, okay well we all know that the the cloud kingdom events coming so we'll see how that goes but then the cloud kingdom never came and this is this is what we got so pause that conversation let's let's review this set ew wait what's going on with that saddle 
Oh, it's fixed. Okay. That was a bit dramatic. Anyway, I don't like this one. I hate how like low quality the rainbow shading is on it. It looks outdated when it's kind of new. So not my thing. My character's hot though. So it's fine. I just don't think I'd like dressage sets. Because this was the problem with the equestrian festival was everything was dressage. And it was just like, this is so ugly. That's that. That's that shot. Great. <laughs> Star Stables event, I actually can't stop yawning, I've been at work. The Star Stables events this year as a whole have been extremely underwhelming. The winter festival last year, like do not, like that was the downfall, that was like the start of the downfall, right? Like that was so controversial, we all remember it. Some people really, really like this event, so taking it away from them for literally no reason whatsoever. And this is all you can give them in replacement, it's just a bit like, oh I had a rainbow beard, that's cute. That's so cute! Oh my god, that's so cute! Why don't I already own that? Oh, this is like gay Elvis. Is that controversial to say? It's not, right? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of money. So there's these wraps. But I don't know where they belong. It's for that one, so I shouldn't have bought that yet. Okay. I understand I've not bought this whole set yet, but while my wisp is active, I'm just gonna pop in here and buy some of these earrings. So I essentially want every single one of these earrings. <laughs> Can someone please educate me as well? What What is this? This one and what's this one? This yellow one with the circle. I've never seen those before. I've really went on a tangent in this video. We're making good progress, but I am worried about how small this bar is becoming. Like, sorry, how big this bar is becoming because that's basically saying to me, hey, you use a lot of your shillings. And there's a lot in this shop because I've not bought anything from the past events. So I'm getting a bit concerned, but. Do I buy the rainbow beard? Do I buy this? I, you know, right, I don't know how people can clickbait. I, I, this is just the next random thing I'm gonna talk about. Everyone talks about it these days, right? They talk about the clickbait on YouTube. Because like when I make these videos and it's like buying absolutely everything from so-and-so with your Vic shillings, I have to make sure I buy everything or I feel really bad because it's like they've came here to watch me buy every single item. I'm gonna deliver, okay? Where am I up to? I'm so lost, guys. I'm so lost. Okay, top. And then I think that's everything for that for both of those sets. I'm gonna dodge the beards just for now and then I'll come back to them. This set looks extra funky. I like it. Right, let's review. Okay, I'm gonna put these on, but it's not part of that outfit, okay? I actually quite like this one, I think. Yeah, cute. I don't really have much else to say. I wish the saddle pad, the boots, the top, the pants, the gloves, it's all given. It's what if I just said I'm not 15? I just don't like that the bridle and the saddle is then very like dull and boring. Moving on to the next one. I like this one. That was so enthusiastic. I don't like it that much. <laughs> I need to change the boots, I think. Yeah. Oh, I like it even more now. I actually don't have any negatives about this outfit, actually. This one is like a 10 out of 10 for me. I love these bridles. I wish they made more of them where it's like a rope halter. Let's get the pants gloves boots hat i really like this bridle saddle pad saddle boots is that everything for the okay no saddle bag no i think that's everything start buying this set too i really like the look of this set i love the saddle pad i can't believe i haven't got this before okay bridle cute little saddle bag that is a cute little saddle bag them boots are like clown shoes. Actually, them boots are like toddler's shoes, which is even worse because I'm 20 years old, but we'll buy them. <laughs> the hat is very purple. Okay, this set first. This is like a two out of 10. I love the jacket. I like the cap. I like the boots. The pants are questionable. No, <laughs> two out of 10. Next one. I actually, I actually feel like a five year old. I could not wear this. I really couldn't wear this. I think it's like, it's cute, but it's like too cute. Like, nah, that's it. I need to change out of this. <laughs> the tack set is super cute. Like now, now we're talking. See, that's nice. I really like that tack set, but the clothing set, we literally can't even talk about that one. I just, no, no, no. Okay. We're looking 
We're looking like we're running out of money. <laughs> That's what we're looking like right now. Let's just pray. Honestly, I blame Star Stable for the terrible event plan and for me not being able to complete this if I can't complete it. I mean, that's kind of cheap, right? This set, like 3,300, that's not bad. Halters don't really get use in my stable, but they are cute, so I am gonna buy them. Okay, his saddle pad. Let's get those. And bridle. Oh, I love cheap sets. Boots. Why are still stables so incapable of like making matchy matchy outfits that are actually matchy matchy? Cause like this top, it just doesn't go at all. I feel like this one's a bit like crazy. I'm not the biggest fan. I really like the look of the wraps and the saddlebag um, in this set. Guys, I'm really running out of shillings. This isn't funny. And these are all 300 packs. No! Bridal. I blame Camp Weston. <sighs> Let's just get the saddlebag. Oh, I didn't want this set anyway. I mean, considering Camp Weston was so close to this one, like literally week apart, and the amount of shillings I used in Camp Weston, I'm really not mad at like the progress we've made. Like we've bought this entire shop and we've got bought everything but one of this. Let's summon a wisp and we'll have a look at what we actually managed to buy. This is everything that we managed to buy in terms of character items. Really not bad when you look at it like this. This really puts into perspective, sorry, how many shillings we spent and what we could actually buy. Super happy with this. And then for horse gear, this is everything. With the exception of these three sets, ignore these three. This is everything that we managed to buy for shillings and here. Don't forget these ones in my inventory in terms of horse gear. So honestly, all in all, I know that I missed out on four items, but I'm really not mad at all. As per usual, thank you all so much for watching this video. My next video coming out is a most requested train with me. So if you're not already subscribed and you're interested, don't forget to click that button, the notification bell, the like button, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one.